FedEx, we connect people and possibilities, both internally and externally, internally within our operating companies and externally to meet the needs of our customers. We do this all by fulfilling our FedEx promise, or the purple promise, as we like to call it, which is to make every FedEx experience outstanding. So today I'm going to talk to you about where we are on our geospatial intelligence efforts. I'm going to highlight some of the um, success stories that we put in place, and then I'll wrap up on what we're exploring to go further in our geospatial activities. Fred Smith, our chairman and CEO, has said that we believe that when people make connections, the power of technology, transportation, information, and ideas compound and multiply. With our services and our goods, we're creating opportunities and expanding upon um, improving lives of, of those around us. So because we are a transportation company, geospatial intelligence is inherent to what we do. As Cindy mentioned, about eight years ago, we embarked upon this effort of an enterprise geospatial foundational service. We also have foundational services that deal with shipment and customer, as you would expect. So it's very exciting that we started out with this geospatial intelligence um, EFS. We were able to bring it on board, make it a part of the enterprise foundational services to help improve our business processes and to be able to answer questions that we haven't been able to in the past by having that data collectively in one place. This is the geospatial EFS. It shows a footprint of where we are currently across the enterprise. We have about 30 applications that actually make use of our geospatial uh, services. We provide web services to our business applications, and we also have a suite of self-service tools for those team members across FedEx that do not have access to uh, a development team. So we provide self-service tools and then we have applications. Just to highlight a few of those applications, of course, you know, we have a pickup and delivery application. We have several pickup and delivery applications. The maps that's shown there is actually our, um, our Express International application. It allows a, a user to go in and trace routes, to actually go in and trace the routes. Also shows historical and um, historical pickup and deliveries in order for the planner to be able to make a better assessment of how to plan things. Um, at the bottom there, uh, we have an application within our other suite. That's primarily our self-service tools. There's also some applications there as well. That's actually, is showing time traffic for our airplanes. Being able, for six months period, being able to track the actual taxiing of our airplanes and to be able to pinpoint where there could be issues with some taxiing or particular locations that are causing problems. So we're able to pinpoint and focus on where there are issues and concerns uh, within our assets quickly and be able to make resolutions to those problems. Because we are providing web services, we provide a suite of RESTful services. We have about five categories of services that we provide. As you would imagine, we primarily focus on, we definitely have a travel analysis and optimization services for things like vehicle route planning and being able to assess turn-by-turn um, -turn directions. One of the key areas is the geographic editing uh, service that allows us to be able to access business data from a data store, bring that information in to other business applications, and then also within our self-service tools, but to also be able to, to join data and create additional geographic elements. Uh, one scenario of that is being able to take two postal codes and create a um, service area for our express shipping that we have. We have about 100, maybe 180 or so of these services. The, the beauty that we see with these services, again, is that we're able to go in, access that data store, and make that business data available to other applications and other team members across the enterprise. One example of us being able to connect people with possibilities, this is the area of where we're serving our customers. Um, the first diagram, that you, the first map that you see there is actually available on FedEx.com. That's our street view capability. We're able to tell, we don't want to pinpoint exactly where the courier is located, so we provide a recent location of where that courier is. Anyone who signs into FedEx.com our, with our FedEx Delivery Manager services application can go in and take advantage of this particular uh, functionality. We provided this in January. Uh, and we continue to fine-tune it, we're able to also incorporate 
our enterprise GPS uh, initiative that actually helps us to track the information of where the courier is. And then we use our enterprise geospatial to go in and um, make some calculations for reporting. And then the other map that you see there is actually used for a ground and express. It's used for as a part of our customer service organization. Within customer service, someone may call, have a problem with their package not being delivered or maybe um, not knowing when it was delivered, and they make a call to FedEx customer service. In this particular aspect, the customer service agent is, going, is able to actually go in and look at the GPS point of where the package was delivered and then send that information over to a trace agent where he or she is able to, uh, within the operations, whether it's ground or express, do further research on what's going on with that shipment. This actually helps. There are a lot of things within FedEx, as you would imagine, that goes on behind the scenes to, to get that package delivered on time and to make those commitments. So these are two areas where we're making things better for our customer and giving them that outstanding experience. I talked earlier about our self-service tools. We call this uh, self-service tool eMaps. Um, it's a mapping application platform and services. The beauty of this uh, application platform, eMaps, is that we're able to use, take advantage of vendor data and then also have our uh, own internal data that we're able to provide. Anyone across FedEx, our 485,000, which I hope they don't all access the system at once, they're able to go in and um, access the eMaps tool and pull in data along with their business data and quickly make decisions and analysis and perform analysis. We're proud of this tool. Um, it's taken off. Uh, we see a lot of teams want to um, use it within their entire workflow. And there are some cases where we do encourage them to go with a business application, but eMaps has proved to be very valuable, and we do look at expanding that. One of the areas where we really um, are excited about eMaps, um, you see that at FedEx authored data. Facility data is used by several uh, an GIS and analysts across FedEx, and they want to be able to go in, look at that facility data, and make use of it. And we provide a mechanism here within eMaps for those teams to access like where our ramps are, our FedEx office locations are, and they can do further analysis for marketing or for other areas of the business. Going into further about making every FedEx experience outstanding, these maps show um, our AirOps GIS. This is an application that we have for our express uh, operations, air operations. And it gives a quick status of where the planes are, uh, where they're located. It's used operationally, as you would imagine, within air operations. But it's also used for the mechanics um, to be able to tell um, which planes need maintenance, the status of those planes, and, and allow for planning so that staffing is there to be able to perform maintenance on those planes and, if necessary, get parts. Um, this team, prior to within air operations, they were actually using spreadsheets to, um, to go in and look at information to be able to perform that assessment. And so giving them a quick graphical view, not to just focus on every asset, but those assets where there could be issues, is key to being able to make decisions quickly and react quickly. And so we found this to be very beneficial across the enterprise. Another area where we've been able to, behind the scenes, make that FedEx experience outstanding is within our ground transportation management system. Here, this application um, actually allows teams or users to be able to create geofences. And so they can go in and create geofences for when the line haul devices are actually going into the um, facility. Prior to this being created, um, the development teams were actually going in and creating those geofences. As you can see, this map gives you a geographical view of creating those maps. And also, uh, from an operational perspective, the drivers used to have to call and uh, provide notification that they were actually entering the facility. With this geofence and these capabilities, all that's automated, and they're aware of what's going on right away and the status of the driver. Although we've made some good progress across the enterprise in using our geospatial services and tools, we see that there are areas where we can definitely go further. Because the business data and those authoritative sources are so important, 
we want to put an emphasis on the accuracy of that data. I mentioned the facility data, the FedEx facility data. We want to make sure that data is accurate so that it can be used across the enterprise. So we work with teams to make sure that data is accurate, report back to those teams. And in some cases, it's an enterprise foundational service that deals with like the facility data. So once they fine tune that data, we can work with that other enterprise foundational service um, and, and have a way of, of, of enforcing the accuracy of that data or assuring the accuracy of that data. We also want to provide that author data to business applications across the enterprise. One of the things that we see is that we cannot be, uh, our teams cannot be the GIS analysts for all of FedEx. So we really see ourselves as being a mechanism for providing tools and services as well as consultants to other GIS analysts across the company. Um, this helps um, make us stronger. We can provide consulting. We can help with the applications team, application teams and also give them guidance on where to find that data. We want to continue to introduce the geospatial analysis across the company in areas where it hadn't been considered before, such as marketing. To a degree, we're there with marketing, but we definitely want to expand further. And finance and HR. There are several areas that we, we know we hadn't reached the surface of what can be explored with geospatial intelligence. And then lastly, because we have international regions, we want to be able to expand EMAPS and EGIS to those international regions and set up those uh, regional portals that are, that are available. Thank you so much for allowing me to be able to share our geospatial intelligence activities that are occurring at FedEx.